Hello again, folks. It's Donald Ward McCarthy here with uh, 311 Realty Group. Well, congratulations. You're at the exciting, exciting stage of the offer. Making an offer, we've whittled down through our process of elimination, thousands of properties to hundreds to tens to your rolling top three, and now we're ready to make an offer. So congratulations. Very exciting. Okay, so contracts. Uh, a note on that, back when we would have done our uh, consultation with uh, either myself or someone on the team we would have shown you that in the appendix of the uh, package uh, we provided to you uh, all of the contracts in regards to purchasing an agency contract they're all in there and you would have had time to review those so that at this moment we can focus on the most important the meat and potatoes as we say of an offer which are price deposit closing date inclusions exclu and exclusions and cover uh, conditions and sometimes as well too, we'll, we'll put in a cover letter. So let's, let's talk about all of these. Pricing. So number one, your agent's job is to do a thorough market analysis to make sure you're not overpaying. Discussion as well too of what strategy is the seller or the seller's agent. What strategy are they utilizing in selling the home? Are they listing low to get multiple offers? Or are they listed, is it listed too high possibly? Is it listed with a, a margin of negotiation of maybe two to 3% there? Are there other offers? Okay, that's a very important consideration, particularly in the GTA where supply is always an issue. And on the really, really attractive properties, the eight out of tens, the nines out of tens, there could well be another offer. Okay, so deposit five to 10% is typical of the purchase price. And very, very important here, let's say we made an offer this afternoon or this evening and we had that, off, we had that offer accepted by the seller, let's say by tomorrow morning, you would be expected within 24 hours of having that offer accepted to provide those funds, that five to 10%. So very important that we have that, that money liquid ready to go when we make an offer. Next is closing or possession date. Typical is 60 days. A quick closing might be 30, longer is 90 to 120 days. Working with buyers, we always try and get you to be as flexible as possible because again, if we're competing against other offers, it would help us in our negotiation to be able to say, you know what, whatever you want, we'll figure it out and we'll close when you want. Inclusions and exclusions. So typically all appliances would be included all the HVAC systems, all that stuff, AC would be included. Anything that's a fixture that's nailed down or screwed down is considered an inclusion. Exclusions might be something that the seller, there's a nostalgia for, there might be a particular um, wall sconce or a, a lamp shade or something like that hanging over the dining room table. Those are the kind of typical things that they may want to specifically exclude from the purchase price. Conditions, financing, inspection, and status certificate, the latter if you're purchasing a uh, condominium. So financing, very important. We get that paperwork off to your, your mortgage person or your bank immediately if we get an accepted offer. Uh, inspection, of course, what we're looking with inspection is there's always going to be something wrong um, with a property, or there are, all, there are always going to be things with the property that need attention, even at the minute that you likely take possession. What we're looking for majorly with an inspection is to look, are there any major, major defects here that we should uh, be very concerned about and possibly walk away from in the deal. If you're purchasing a condominium, a status certificate. Status certificate looks at really the financials and the setup of the corporation that owns that condominium uh, property. Okay, major things there to look at are the reserve fund study. Are they putting enough money aside from the monthly maintenance fees to do outlaying uh, the windows, the roofs, the common parking areas in 10, 15, 20 years? What litigation is against the property? It's typical to have slip and fall litigations, but is there anything major else that we need to be concerned about? There could be a big ticket item to land on condominium owners. Is there a special assessment going to happen down the road? That's very important as well too. Also, cover letters. We may feel we want to distinguish ourselves in the negotiation period, so a cover letter outlaying how solid we are from a financial perspective, you know, family photo, you know, to give a bit of a, an identity and uniqueness to our offer. So good luck, folks. Talk to you on the, on the other end when you get this place, okay? Good luck. Ciao, ciao.